Hello guys, today I want to show you how to truncate database table in Laravel and the problem that you may get with it if you have as many relationships and you want to truncate the parent table. You will get an error and kind of unexpected error and how to overcome that. So for example, you have a database table of players which has many games. So each player may have multiple games and in my case I have one game for one player the second player hasn't played yet. And if I run that player truncate, I would get obviously an error that there are games with that player, which is expected, right? But now if we delete that game just from SQL client, so there is no game for that player one or for any player at all, we repeat that query and we're still getting the same error. Why? Because in my SQL syntax, you cannot truncate table even if there is a foreign key, even if there is no data, the foreign key constraint prevents you from truncating the parent. To me, it was non-obvious at the time I got that error first time years ago, but this is how database work and we have to work within this limitation. And we have two ways to overcome it. First, instead of doing truncate, you could do db table delete, basically delete all the records instead of running truncate, and that would succeed. The result is two, meaning two records deleted. But this has a consequence. So now if we refresh that table, it's empty for players. And now if we try to add a new record, the ID of that record would not be one. So delete from table does not reset the auto increment primary key. You may or may not care about that, but if you do and you want the auto increment to be reset to one, you do need truncate. So another way of dealing with the same situation is doing truncate, but disable foreign key check before running the truncate and enable it back afterwards. In Laravel, it would look like this schema disable constraints before and then enable afterwards. Probably it should be run within transaction. So if we run that now, this is Tinkerwell message, it's not an error, it's just alias, return true, and the refresh of the database empty table players. And now new player would get which ID? ID one, as expected. So yeah, if you want to truncate the table with the relationship in your, I don't know, reseeding the database or whatever operation you're planning, be careful with two things, constraints with foreign keys and auto increment primary key after the truncation. And if you want more tips like this one around Eloquent in Laravel, one of the most popular courses on Laravel Daily Com is called Eloquent the Expert Level. Almost two hours of videos related to various topics on Eloquent, including relationships and some packages. So a lot to see here. And I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.